man, you go crazy. What are some things you think we can do to make Chicago a better place? Um, man, chase that, chase that money. That's first of all, man, chase that money, bro. Go and get you a trade. Go and get you a trade, man. That's the biggest thing, bro. Go and get your, if you don't do nothing, bro, get you um, a LLC, bro. Get you a LLC and work that motherfucker, man. Make it happen, bro. I'm telling you, you can make it happen. I learned a lot since I've been on YouTube, bro, and I've been making it happen off that shit on that thing. So that's why I tell them for the older niggas who out here still want to want to be in it and all that, bro. It ain't worth it, bro. Ain't nobody paying for no lawyers. Ain't nobody sending you nothing in jail. Like, ain't no 401k plan in this shit. I'd have, I'd have been, you know what I'm talking about? I've been going to jail and all this shit, you know, doing shit. Doing shit and, you know, I ain't never got nothing out of it, bro. Never. So what's your thoughts on drill music? Like, do you think the government has been using drill music to break down our community? Man, I'm gonna say this. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this, bro. What was everybody at in 2012, man? And 20, when, the, when the shit, when the motherfuckers was dying, you hear me? Like everybody watched it, but it's like now that it's a sensation, now that it's a, it's been a sensation for all these years, and people like academics scored, got rich as fuck, and all that. Now it's like people coming out and, and like, you know. Oh, this and that, this and that. Like, where was you at when they was dying? Why didn't you stop it then? Like, what's the difference between, you know what I'm talking about? What made you come out now about it? That's why I be thinking people be having other motives behind shit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Trenches News reporting live from Chicago, right? Tell us what the uh, Pumpkin Head Deluxe is. Oh, PhD, man. Pumpkin Head <laughs> Deluxe. That's when your mom. Your head like an airhead on that and your shit don't your shit may go down it may not you hear me like for real i know niggas who got a punk head from the bill and this shit still look like an airhead bobby's real <laughs> how, how, how you get it though like how, oh how you, you get it? It, um doing doing shit doing shit that's that's that you ain't supposed to do like out of out of laws or because it was structured there so you know if you do anything got a out of bounds, bro. You steal some. You then went on and hit it without permission. Anything that wasn't sanctioned, bro, you was getting violated. And hey, that's now you, so nowadays there ain't no structure. No, nah, ain't no structure. You violate somebody, you gonna die. On the short, I'm gonna tell you, I'll be right back. Punch them in their stomach, you see. They, I'll be right back. You might as well kill them before they go off and come back, cause they gonna shoot up the switch and hit everybody yourself. You though. You know, might be a little girl who get killed or something like that, but yeah, there ain't no more ass whoopings, bro. You ever had a run in with the Kia boys? The Kia boys? No, nah, they some goofies though, bro. That shit goofy, bro. Like they going on schools and um, riding up the curb and shit, bro. Like, nah, bro. Like that ain't cool, bro. Y'all, y'all gonna dang to somebody. You know what you still the cars for the thrill of it? Yeah. Like hell no. Nah. If they, I mean, if they got some money, no son, and we don't know shit. They doing it, but all I've been seeing is them going on chases and shit. Like y'all dan in danger of somebody else, like bro. So with you being a former stick up kid, um, and you see what they doing, what would you tell yourself 10, 15 years ago? Make sure it's worth it. Make, make sure it's worth. Make it. sure it's worth it, bro. You got to make sure that shit worth it, bro, because I'm telling you, you could throw in my daddy always told me this. He said, you out here, because a lot of people used to go to my daddy house and tell my daddy, oh, man, your son swipe just robbed me, shit like that. My daddy told me, man, he sat me down one day, and he was like, man, look, just know this, you could put on a pastor suit. The shit that you out here doing to somebody, they might be in your congregation waiting on you, on their thing, bro, and that. That just made me see a whole lot of different, bro. It always stuck with me when my daddy said, bro. Like, damn, they could be in a congregation there. You know what I'm talking about? Infiltrate on some Malcolm X type shit. And, you know, that was deep. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it always stuck with me. So when you say make sure it's worth it, when is it ever worth it? That's what I'm saying. It ain't worth it. Right. <laughs> you just better make sure that shit worth it on everything. In other yeah. words, don't get caught. Yeah, don't get caught or uh, make sure you got enough to run. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, nah, I ain't talking about enough for just a month or two, because that's what all that shit usually be, a, a lit. You, now you want to go to Florida and burn all the money, but you forget about that you done 
took this shit from these people, you know, who waiting on you, who got money, who been turned over a bag. You done jagged that bag. Now you coming back, and now that now the people knocking on your door at first, the bitch was like, oh, you he ain't here, I ain't seen him. Now you broke, oh, you gotta leave my house. You know what I'm talking about? I can't go through this, I got kids. Now the bitch got kids once, the killer's on your ass, you hear me? So it ain't worth it, man. Mm -hmm. It ain't worth it, I'd have been in that position. You better jump out the window. Like, damn, bitch, we just spent 25K and an eight. You hear me? Like, yeah, <laughs> but it happened like that, I'm telling you, it happened like that. Yeah. We got back from the eight, bitch played crazy with me. Oh, they looking for you. I ain't got nothing to do with that. See if you can see if you can go over what's the name house for you know what I'm talking about? Like shit like that. You don't want to be involved with that shit. Mm -hmm. Through the good, the bad, and the ugly that you've experienced in these Chicago streets, what does Chicago mean to Trenches News? Chicago mean a lot to me, bro. Like, I love Chicago, bro. I was born here. You know, and the projects came up on the low end. I had fun, seen a lot of good days, bro. Like, the back then, the gang members, drug dealers, whatever you want to call them, they used to be buying out all the ice cream trucks, all the meat, bringing out everybody eat on the block. It'll be so much more how many grills out there, you know, and they'll be on the grills. The, the, the gang members, they'll be on the grills. You know, I'm doing that shit, feeding the community and everything, bro. Like, it ain't none of that no more. It's me, myself, and I now. Like, it's just me, myself, and I now, bro. That's how everybody's attitude is. Like, I'm worried about me. Mm -hmm. DJ, you go crazy!